right here we are with my old grill and I got these new copper grill mats as you can see I'm gonna try to cook some chicken on it and see what happens so let's give it a try Okay, starting to sizzle. Looks pretty decent. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right, back in a minute. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, my temperature is in the grill range around 350 degrees or so give or take you know depending on the accuracy of the damn gauge let's open the lid and see what we got okay so we do got some burning on the mat it looks like so what did leave some grill marks as you can see on the chicken not too bad looking some grill marks not all the way through but we do have some so not too bad I don't know what to oh well you can see the burnt marks here looks like they just come looks like they're just coming right off so far I mean it looks like the cleanup is gonna be pretty good so I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit and uh, I'll be back with you guys and we'll see what happens all right <laughs> Hang tight. All right, shall we check the grill? As you can see, if I can get it in there, temperature still around 350, 360, 375, however you want to look at it. Let's open it up. And I do believe that that's respectable grill marks. Um, some people report that they're not getting any, but I have not seemed to have a problem with getting the grill marks on the food. Looks good. The chicken's nice and done. Now um, we are seeing some of this black, but as you can see, it comes right up, it comes right off of there without pushing it too hard. So I imagine that the cleanup is going to be really good on this grill mat. We'll find out after I get the rest of these uh, chickens off of here. And then I'll go in and clean it and go on to the next little test, but. At least all this black stuff's not all over my grate, so it makes cleanup kind of simple. We'll, hopefully, we'll find out. All right, stay tuned. I'll let you know. So, here's the mat. As you can see, it has the char all over it. Didn't mess up my grill at all. I just left it right on this copper grill mat. Now we're going to see how hard it is to get off, if I can do this one-handed. So, let me... Uh, a little squirt of that, Don. Turn some water on. It says nothing sticks to it, huh? Well, I'm trying to do this one handed, folks, so it'd probably be much easier uh, if I was using two hands, just so you know. Some areas seem to be a little bit tougher, but uh, I'll give you a little pre thing here. Yeah, see, not bad. Looks like it comes. Looks like it comes right off, like it says it does. Use it again. All right, let me finish cleaning it with my other hand, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Let me open this grill up here. As you can see, the uh, copper mat came pretty clean. So there's a couple stains, but all the big burn stuff that usually stays on the grill, it came right off the mat, no problem. And as you can see, my cast iron griddle of my O grill is clean. Nothing is on it. So that is real cool. And now I'm going to do 
this these two salmon fillets that are on a cedar plank I'll put those right on there and uh, and we'll see how it happens what happens when I put them on the uh, on this mat hopefully that uh, cedar plank will smoke a little bit we'll find out all right stay tuned I'll give you a look all right guys we're back check on the uh, bourbon marinated salmon fillets on a uh, cedar plank let's open it up and check it out I get this lid open I sure wish you guys could uh, smell what I'm smelling right now it is just about amazing it looks pretty good as you can see the plank is smoking the grill mat seems to be holding up underneath it it is really hot so we're just gonna sit there and keep cooking these get this lid closed again so we can get that nice flavor into those salmon all right we will be right back with the uh, finished product hey guys welcome back i'm going to show you this a uh sh blah blah i can't speak either show you these salmon flays all done on this copper mat as you can see that cedar plank is really smoking now and uh I'm going to get these off of here real quick if I can do this one-handed. We'll see. See if I drop them. I'll just pull the whole thing off. Okay. So, there's the mat. I'm going to turn the grill off. And uh, maybe a little bit of burn around where that cedar plank was. But other than, other than that, it looks like the mat held up even for cedar planking. So, cool. Cool. Cornfly just kamikaze on the mat. Check that out. Boom. He's dead. Dingleberry. All right. Next, I'm going to do some sautéed vegetables using this uh, grill mat. And uh, we'll see what that turns out. I'll be right back when I have that ready. Okay, I'm back. And here it is on the grill. Just some peppers different peppers and onions and mushrooms and some seasoning and some uh, butter and I'm gonna light the grill up and uh, we're gonna get her started all right close that might have to move it a little bit Get it centered on my small little grill. Well, that'll just have to work. That'll work. That pan fits on there. Pretty decent. That'll work. That's good enough for me. All right, we'll be back and I'll show you these vegetables. Stay tuned. All right, let's check it out with the vegetables, shall we? Let's raise this up. Okay. Oh, yeah, looks good. Again, the mat is burning around the edges from all the juices but if you pay attention to your grill and, and stir everything and move it around you should be good to go and those burn marks come right off the vegetables are pretty much done they just look amazing so there's the vegetables so i'm going to turn this off and cook them up and and uh there it is all done that's three things cooked the mat seems to be doing pretty good and uh I like it. See you guys later. Have fun. So I'm back. I did want to show you the mat one more time after I took those vegetables off. As you can see, it's pretty dirty and I will show you again after I clean it and hopefully it all comes off of there. I hope. Cross my fingers. I, um, I did start those vegetables off in a pan and I put this mat in the pan and then put that directly on my oak grill. Um, but that wasn't working out. And I didn't like it. So I stopped in the middle of it and took the pan out and just put the mat right onto the, the grates of the oak grill to cook these vegetables. And the vegetables turned out great. We'll just see if, uh, if the mat can hold up. All right, I'll send you one more uh, little video after I get this mat clean and hopefully it looks pretty decent and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. All right, here we are with the mat clean. As you can see, it held up through all of that. It did have a little cedar uh, board scorching because, you know, these mats are only supposed to handle 500 degrees. So I'm sure it got a lot hotter than that while it was smoldering on there. But it still held up and it came nice and clean. And uh, I, uh, I'm impressed. I like them. I, I, it's much easier to clean up than the grill. All right, guys, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a good day.